Hello and welcome back to another pricey HD video. I'm sorry for the lack of videos this week. In fact, if anything, I've been preparing more videos for next week because I know that next week I won't be able to upload anywhere near as much as what I could have this week. So what I've been doing is I've been preparing lots of videos. I've got lots of Birmingham content to come out to you uh, for the career mode series. And I hope that that will appetise your... Appetite? Is that the right way to put it? Um... I'm not really sure. Either way, we've got a very special game of the week today because it is the first and probably the only, maybe, game of the week uh, that will be in the Sky Bet Championship, uh, which is basically the second tier, as you really should know if you are a football fan. And, of course, on a Sunday, which is, again, a very rare occasion, not many championship games are played on a Sunday, purely mainly because of uh, fears of fights, etc., so they put it on a day where no other games are on. So on the Sunday, uh, the championship will be holding host to Birmingham City versus Aston Villa. Birmingham City, of course, is my club, as you all know. And Aston Villa, our long rivals, our bitter rivals, who have, of course, recently relegated. And to make matters even more interesting, have got a manager that did so very well with us as their new man. They have won their past two games, Aston Villa, and they are on the best form they have been on in, well, since 2010, I believe. So it's literally something, it's just madness. They haven't won three games in a row since 2010, and funnily enough, in 2010, the third game that they won in a row was against us. This is the first league game between the two sides since 2011 as well, which is, of course, the season that we went down. Uh, we had the one cup game last year, which was just unbelievable. The fact that we got Drew against Villa, it was just like, it was like destiny because it had been so long since we'd played them that it, we, we needed another derby and we lost that. Fair enough, we lost it. Uh, they were a Premier League side at the time and look at our team, look at the amount of money we'd spent and look at the amount of money Villa had spent. This year, look at the amount of money Villa had spent and look at the amount of money we'd spent. That's all I can say. In fact, I'm going to try and go from a non-biased point of view here. Nonetheless, I'm still finding myself questioning where on earth is Villa's value for money. Our value for money in our team is sensational. Apart from Fabrini, quite arguably, the performances from our men out there for their price tag have been the best in the league. Because I don't see many other teams buying players on free transfers and buying players just on loans, apart from Fabrini, obviously, um, to the point where our team can perform the way that it has. We sit currently in 8th in the league. I'm doing this as it stands because there's actually games being played at the moment as I'm recording this. Uh, but we were 7th before today's game started. It's just because of reasons. Reading going up the table because of uh, Reading's current position as it stands. Uh, but... We were actually in sixth as well before we went on a bad run. Three games, uh, two losses. But apart from that, all season, we've only lost three games. One of them was against Wolves, which was another derby, of course. I really don't know. I just feel like this is lined up for us to lose on the, the form that we've sort of do dropped on. We were unbeaten in something like seven games in a row. And then suddenly we've lost two now in the past three. Um, I don't know. I, I, I feel like... The loss against Nottingham Forest. Forest are a good side. There's no doubt about that. Although they are really low in the league. So we, we probably shouldn't have lost that game. And then you've got the loss against Burton Albion. I think Rowett might have been distracted. I don't know what to blame on that. But Burton are again doing okay in the league. Better than Villa on goal difference. No, actually on goals, on, goal, on, goal, on goals four. Which is quite funny, I find. Um, but nonetheless, we probably still should have also beat them. Villa this year have been, well, what's the word, dreadful, basically. Uh, just draw after draw after draw, it seems, in their past 10 games. And they've been very, very subpar. Mind you, they got a draw against Nottingham Forest, which we couldn't achieve. Um, Villa have won two of their last two league games, and that's as many as they'd won on the previous 29 attempts. Basically, to put it simply, and I know I'm going to get dislikes on this video, I know I'm going to get hate, they have been absolutely embarrassing. And it's almost, I feel embarrassed for them to see them in this position. With the amount of money they've spent, with the size of their club, they shouldn't be where they are. 
We, on the other hand, have, well, we don't, we are basically, we've just got new owners and I can't help thinking that it's out of the frying pan into the fire with that. But apart from that, for about five years, we've had owners who are complete tossers, to put it simply, and they cannot do anything legally, basically, uh, and that's why we're in the position that we're in. That league, that season that we went down, we shouldn't have gone down. That's the simple truth. We should not have gone down at all. We had a much better squad. I don't know what happened. Uh, we won the Carling Cup in the same year, and <laughs> I just, I don't understand that how we went down. I can't help feeling if we wouldn't have went down that year, God knows where we'd be right now, but... We went down on 38 points. Last year, Villa went down on 17, I believe. Hmm. I mean, it's not really nice to go down on any points, but I know what I'd prefer to go down on, and it definitely isn't the 17. Granted, we've been in this league for five years now. Villa is the first year in it. They might go straight back up. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, but they're going to pick up form. It's not going to last all season. It's only 14 games in. And yes, they're on 17 points, but bear in mind, six of them points have been in the last two games. So, they will pick up form. Uh, so, that's just granted, that's expected. Uh, Kodja has scored four in, of Aston Villa's last seven league goals, with those strikes being worth six points. So, uh, Kodja is on form, of course. Blues are unbeaten in their last five home games in the Championship, winning four and drawing one. That's one positive to take out of it. However, Birmingham are winless in eight West Midlands Derby league games, with Villa losing six and drawing two. We don't have very good records against Villa. Uh, we have got a dreadful record against Villa in recent years. And I, I know, uh, technically, it was only two games ago against Villa that we won, if you include this game. So, you've got... Uh, the last game that we played, of course, was last year uh, in the Cup, and we lost 2-1. The game before that, we drew 1-1 back in the Premier League, and the game before that, we won 2-1 in the Cup. Uh, brilliant, hilarious, in fact, Zigic goal, which just sort of was clearly a miss hit, and it just bounced, well, not bounced, it sort of just lofted over Brad Guzan, and it was a fantastic goal to send us through to the semi-finals against West Ham of the League Cup that season, of course, which we went on to win. So, if you look at very recent games, uh, one loss and one win and one draw. If you look at games before that, you'll find that we begin to draw, but apart from that, we uh, lose a lot of them when you go back to 2009 2006, 2005, that sort of time, we begin to lose a lot of them because Villa were a very good side and they were a better side than us then. Uh, and, I mean, if Villa, if they win this game, am I going to be butthurt? No, I'm not. I'm not going to be butthurt. I'm going to be disappointed. I would love to win this game. I just feel like everything's riding up for us not to. I don't know. We just aren't experienced in the Derby uh, department at the moment and neither are Villa, really. Not many of the Villa players have ever played in Derby. And not many of our players have ever played in the derby. Yeah, we played in that one last year in the Cup, but not in the league derby, which really is in the wrong league. We should be playing this derby in the in the top tier. In fact, this is the only time that we've played in the bottom tier since 1987-88. Not bottom tier, sorry, second tier. I don't know what I'm about. Um, basically... What do I expect to happen? I'm not going to put a prediction on this because I'm worried if I put a prediction then everything will go wrong. Of course, I feel like we should and could win this game, but I reckon Villa probably will. Uh, it's going to be a close one, I think. If it's a thrashing, then I think that will be a real shock. I don't think anyone's expecting a thrashing, uh, anyone with a sense of mind anyway. But I have a feeling that we just won't turn up. Uh, recent form has looked a bit shaky, and I've just got a feeling that we will be nervous. Same way I'm nervous, I've just got a feeling that we will be very, very nervous. And I don't know why, uh, because we've got just as good a reason to win this game, but I've just got a feeling, I don't know, they'll grab, I don't know, like an 80th minute goal, like they do here in the FIFA simulation, and just fuck us over. Uh, that'll just really annoy me. Uh, but, I mean, we'll see what happens, won't we? To put it simply... It would be a great win, and in fact, in the position that we're in, it would mean that Villa would only go three points behind us if they were to win. So really, a win, or at least a draw, 
is what I would love to get from this game. I'm just worried that we'll turn up and just something won't go our way. Something will just go badly and we'll lose. Uh, we'll see. I suppose that's all we can do. We can wait and I can hope. But what do I think will happen? I think Villa might sneak the win. If I can't, I just I, I just can't see us winning. I don't know whether that's just being, me being negative. I just I always have a bad feeling that you know what I mean. Whenever I go into a game with Blues. I'm never confident that we're going to get the win until recently when we went on that good streak. And now we've lost two games again. I feel like we're in a worse position than ever to lose this game. And that just, I don't know. I, I feel like Rowett can be enthusiastic, but there's a difference between being in a stable position going into the game and trying to rehabilitate your form by using a derby to do that. I feel like it's better to go into a derby with good form, surely. Rowett says not. That's just what he's saying to the press, probably. But either way, I do that watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button down below. And I will be here again, ne this time next week, for another game of the week. Probably the Premier League this time. Uh, but apart from... Oh, unless it's an international break. I don't think it is, anyway. Nope, it's not an international break. Uh, but apart from that... That is me done. I expect some Birmingham career mode this week and I will see you next time.